Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you how to set up React project and this React project. I'm using Vite to create it and this React project is the front end and the back end in this case and the server in this case is Express. So I will show you how to set up Express with React and I will use Vite project. So basically this is the setup that I want to use. In production, you have a React client working with an Express server, but in development, we have the React client, and the React client is created using Vite project, and there is a development server, development server listing on port 3000, and if you want the React project to work with Express server, then you need to configure the development server for doing this. And for this, we will use proxy and we will, see, we will see it soon. So what I have done, I've prepared a repository. And in this repository, this is the repository. This is where the repository that you can use. It has a React project using Vite and an Express and you can clone it and use it or you can follow the instruction on the readme. On the readme. Oh, what I will do now, I will clone this project and I will show you how to use it. Okay, so git clone. I will enter this project. Okay, so this is the project. I have a client and this is a React project using Vite. This is the server, here I have Express, and this is the root. And there is also a readme file. Okay, in the readme file, you can see the instruction. And the motivation is to set up React Vite project to work with a server. And this is uh, the schema. And Let's see if, okay, and so this is the schema. And let's see what we need to do. Well, first, we need to configure the uh, client vitconfig.js to do the following. And here on the left, this is the URL that you access the server. And here is the actual development server. Okay, so in my case, I've used slash API slash v1, and my server is listening on port 5000. So first you need to configure it. I have already done this, okay, in the client. This is React Vite project, and the client has a proxy, okay? So everything that the client access slash API slash v1 we will be redirect to this server. Okay, so this is the client. This is the server. You see that the server listen on port 5000 and is waiting for request on slash API slash V1. Okay, so slash API slash V1 is on the server. It's on the Vit config and it's also on the source file of the React project. You see here that I'm accessing this URL. Okay. Okay, so let's continue. With the readme. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have the schema, we have the setup, I already configured it. And the React app uses API slash v1 as base. We saw it, and the server base endpoint is also. And you can use here whatever you want. You can use here uh, whichever base URL you have, and you can listen here on any port that you want. Okay, so now I need to install npm install. So I have three directories. I need to 
install npm install on the root directory, on the client directory, and on the server. So let's do it. So currently, I am on the root, so I'm doing npm install. This will install concurrently, which is used to run the server and the client concurrently. So this is one setup. Okay. Now I will enter the client directory. Here I will install the client. It will install uh, React and React DOM. You can see it here. Okay. And also Axios. I'm using Axios. So now React is being installed. And now I need to go to the server. This is my express. And I need to install it also. So express. Here I need to install express. Okay. So everything is installed. And now I need simply to run the project. Okay. So I need to go to the root and do npm start. What this is going to do, if you look here, you will see that it runs the server, npm run server, it's on the server directory, okay? If I look here, npm server actually run nodemon index.js, this is the server. And it run also the client. npm run dev will run the client. And it will do it concurrently. Okay, because I want them both up. Okay, so first, you see, that is run the, uh, the development server, the express server, listening on port 5000. And then it is running React. And React, I can click here and click here. Okay, so the React, what this is going to do, it's going to access the server. Let's see it here. Okay, we're accessing here, get data from server. I'm accessing the server slash API slash V1 and the server is listening on port 5000 and is also when he will get access slash API slash V1, he will return hello. Okay. And this hello will be um, presented here. So I'm expecting to get hello with few lines. Let's see. Okay. You see it here. So if I now want to change the server and say hello from Nathan, you see, you see downstairs, down here, that is uh, making the changes, okay, because it is working with Nodemon. And now if I will access, I will get hello from Nathan. Okay, so let's see again what we have. Let's see this, make a summary. So we want to perform, um, we want to set up the React Vit project with a server express. And this is the setup for development. So we need to configure here proxy. And the proxy is configured in uh, the config, the Vit config file of the client. Here the URL and here the port of the server and you need to install and you need to run. There is a limitation I was not able to map slash okay here because then uh, it is mapped to localhost 3000 but apart from this it is working. So you have two options. Option one is to clone this project and 
change it or you can follow the instruction. If you have your own project, you can follow the instruction, but you need to have um, this structure. You need to have client here, server here. And you need also to have the script as I have done it here. Okay. Thank you.